Oh hey there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, as you can see, we are working on the boote. We are going to be doing some really focused, great exercises to lift, tone, sculpt the glutes um, and get them nice and strong. So if you want to learn how, then give the video a thumbs up and let's go. The first exercise we're going to start with are some sub-zero squats, 20 of these. So you want to get two, um, two like little step things, like a couple more raised platform with a little gap in between. Grab yourself a dumbbell, I'm using a 20 kg one, and squat down. Now the way that you set up for this squat can really help you to target the glute muscles. So you want your feet turned outwards, um, so as you can see my feet aren't facing forward, they are turned slightly outwards at about like 30 to 45 degrees. Um, I'm squatting down nice and low, getting a full range squat, and when I come up, I'm really, really focusing on contracting the glutes. I'm almost like, you can almost see that my hips are almost moving forward in a slight diagonal line because I'm using the power of the glutes to come up. And the second exercise we're gonna go on to are some wide leg hip raises. So you wanna put your feet onto a raised platform as though you're gonna do some hip raises, then let your legs fall apart again to really target the glutes. Then you want to raise your hips up into the air, I guess. <laughs> yeah, raise your hips up. Now, while you're doing this, really focus on lifting your hips all the way up. You basically wanna to aim to get almost a straight line from your shoulder to your hip to your feet really contracting the glutes, activating with a mind to muscle connection. Make sure that your feet are nice and comfortable and you can use your hands on the floor beside you to stabilize you, but try not to lift with your arms, uh, keeping your shoulders nice and flat to the ground. Try not to hunch your shoulders up towards you, but keep the motion completely in those glutes, lifting those hips up. Make sure that when you get to the top, you don't just rush it, that you actually kind of squeeze at the top, uh, really using your mind to activate that muscle and intentionally contract the glute tissue um, will really make a difference when you're doing this exercise. So we are doing 20 of those. Now once we finish those, we're gonna move on to the third and final movement in this workout, which are donkey kick pulses. So you wanna be really intentional when you set up with this exercise. As you can see, I arch my back, I hunch my shoulders, and I find that middle ground where my pelvic tilt is on lockdown. I'm really activating the core muscles there to hold my pelvis in place. I'm not overarching in the lower back. So you want your hands below your shoulders, your knees below your hips. Lift up one leg uh, so that the leg is pointing straight out from your body and pulse up in the air. This is a great position for activating the glutes and using them to do what the glutes do, which is to extend at the hip joint. Um, now, the pulse uh, is gonna give you a great burn. It's gonna give you a great burn. And when you see that we're doing 50, I know that sounds like a lot, but as you can see, like it's a small movement that goes quick. You wanna focus on keeping your leg nice and high, but don't overarch in the back. I can't say this enough. The moment that you start to overarch in your lower back, you're gonna lose that contraction of the glutes and you'll just be kind of moving your back up and down. So what you want to do is hold your upper body steady. Notice how little my upper body is moving. All the movement is coming from my glutes. And in that way, we can really focus the movement because I know you see a lot of people when they do these kind of workouts, because they're working on getting the bum bigger, they tend to stick out the bum. But that's not what you want to do. You want to keep the core locked nice and tight and just focus on getting the movement activated from the glutes. You're going to have a bit of hamstring in there as well, but who doesn't want some nice toned curvy hamstrings? Um, and that pretty much concludes the workout, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you try this workout. I always stretch between sets as well. So we're doing four sets um, and take a minute rest in between each set. Uh, yeah, I always stretch between sets, stretch out my lower back. It feels so good. And just, you know, do what your body tells you, basically. If you like this video, don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know if you try the workout. Join me on Instagram. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks so much for watching my videos. As you know, I super appreciate it. And I love you guys so much. I love you so much. Hope you had a great Easter. I was on call, which kind of sucked. But yeah, someone's got to do it. Okay, I'll stop talking now. Bye, I love you.